What's up everyone? My name is Troy from Tech Games Etc. And this is episode 3 in the Virginia Lottery Treasure Hunt. So, I asked a question in the title, can $60 tip turn into $10 million? I actually got a $60 tip at work to, uh, a few weeks ago actually. And I was like, you know what? I'll put it towards this. But I'm also missing a ticket because I thought I had $210 worth plus the 150 plus the 60 but I forgot to buy another extra ticket so I'll make up for that in the next episode um, and it's also funny that uh, I talked to my supervisor a lot about playing the lottery because at my job we started a, um, a lottery pool and our lottery pool is kinda cool because we use what is called a cash app uh, from the company called Square um, and so people when the lottery pool transfer me the money and stuff and I try to get a lot of employees uh, to play in the lottery pool and a lot of people are hesitant because you know a lot of people don't like a lot don't like to lose money um, because the lottery pool is this twenty dollars per paycheck everybody puts up twenty bucks you know it's just twenty bucks a paycheck even that have some people hesitant so I was talking to my manager, no, my supervisor one day, and I was like, you know, I got like over $1,800 saved up for my winnings. And when the Powerball or the Mega Millions reached a record jackpot of $1.7 billion, I'm going to put all my money up and um, play, play the lottery. Like, I'm going to play that when it reached a record jackpot, I'm going to take all my previous winnings and put it all on that one drawing. And he looked at me like I was weird. <laughs> but it's like... I like playing the lottery. Ever since um, I saw that show, um, saw that show, the lottery changed my life. I've always been inspired just to see what it's like just to win a big jackpot prize. So as of right now, we got one hundred and eighty dollars worth of tickets right here. Got one hundred and eighty dollars worth of tickets, and uh, we'll see where it leads. I also, I also got uh, some post-its because. Um, between the last episode and this episode, I did go to other locations around Alexandria, Virginia. And um, I actually accidentally threw a $30 ticket away. So I have to make sure I keep track of which ones are winners and which ones are not. So we, we're down out of 21 places. We are down. We, are, we, we already went to nine places so far. So that's going to leave about 12 more places to go. So far, no one has won the ten million dollar jackpot again there was one winner uh, months ago but no one has won the ten million dollar jackpot um, there's only two more left and let's see if this is it so 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 far as much money as I spent on this so far it's over eleven $1 hundred dollars but who cares it's a tax write-off at the end of the day so alright so let's get started let's get started with the first ticket and we'll go from there And it's a good thing I got a trash can right here so I can put all the shadings, all the mess in the, in the thing. Alright, so this was not a winner, unfortunately. There's nothing on there. So we are down to the second ticket. Let's see what happens. And also, uh, unfortunately... The Virginia Lottery don't have a, um, a mobile app like the Merlin Lottery does. The Merlin Lottery have like three mobile official mobile apps. You can check all your tickets, and you can also scan your scratch offs. Like if you don't wanna, if you don't wanna uh, scratch everything, all you gotta do is just reveal the barcode at the bottom, and um, at a local you know Virginia Lottery retailer. And just scan it. But for dramatic effect, we're just going to scratch. But also, I was thinking about... Like, I'm in the Alexandria, Virginia area, which is uh, zip code 22304. And I was thinking, like, after I go through the nine other locations, or actually ten other locations, forgive me, because I forgot there was a Harris Teeter that... Uh, a Harris Teeter that uh, I actually found that wasn't on the list of local retailers. After I go to the 10, the 10 retail places, should I go to another county or just stick in the same county? I don't know because when you have 
when you have the odds of like one in two million to get this jackpot, it's like you can do anything and win the prize. Like I even got these uh, tickets from a vending machine. And at first I was kind of hesitant about using a vending machine because not a lot of people probably use it so it's not warmed up. As you say, you know, people ain't going through a lot of tickets so you're still not going to get a good pick of tickets. If that makes sense. It's like you try to you try to do things and try to increase your luck, but you try to have this, you know, gut feeling of going to a certain place over another place and if you don't win anything, you say, "Well, maybe if I would have went to another place, maybe I would have won." I mean, if it's for you, it's for you. I just like playing a lottery. All right. The second ticket was not a winner. Now, we're on to the third ticket. See what happens. All right. The third ticket was not a winner. So we have about four more tickets left. Let's see. Okay. No winners on this one. Wow. No winners on this one. Three tickets left. All right, so that's what? One, two, three. So we're on the fifth ticket. Fifth. We'll see. All right. See, that's why I don't like getting these from vending machines because I just think, like, you know how you, like, if someone's playing on a slot machine, they keep playing it, playing it, playing it, playing it, and they're getting the machine hot. I don't think a lot of people play the vending machines. More do they play, like, if you buy it over the counter. So sometimes I'll be like, I don't think there are any winners because it's the tickets don't really sell, so it's not really getting me to any money. But we'll see. Because like I said, it can be anywhere in Virginia. Anywhere. Anywhere. Okay. This one is not a winner. It's not a winner at all. Two more tickets left. Let's go. This is the sixth ticket, I think. Let's see. This one is not a winner either. All right. This is the last ticket. The last one. The last one. This is the last ticket. All right. This is like, I don't know, it's like the ups and downs, man. This is what part of playing the lottery is, man. Wow. This ticket is not a winner either. Ah. Oh. Dang it. This ticket is not a winner either. So... Wow, wow, wow. All right, then. Well, there y'all go. There y'all have it. It looks like I'm not a millionaire yet. Uh, but like I said, I really enjoy playing the lottery. I, I think it's fun. Um, I'm not really blowing any money, really. Um, most of the money that I put up, I save money, too. So, But uh, so far, it's been a 1000 1, $1,124 so far. But, hey, scared money makes no money. That's what our, us gamblers say. But thank y'all so much for watching. Um, I'll see y'all in the next two weeks out for another episode of Virginia Lottery Treasure Hunt. Um, this week is going to be... What games come out this week? Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite and uh, Road Rage. I think I might play Road Rage this week. I don't really care for uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite for some reason. I don't know. I don't know, but I want to play Road Rage more than I do want to play Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. But thank y'all so much for watching. If you like what you saw in the video today, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. It really helps out a lot. I try to post videos every week if I can. Depends on my schedule because I am uh, working a lot of overtime at my job. This weekend, I didn't. And next weekend, I'm not. And, and a week after that, I'm on vacation. But the week after... Hold on, it's this week, 
the week after next, I'll be back to a full, uh, full time um, overtime schedule working at my job. So my availability may change, but I'm going to definitely try to get a video up every week. But thank y'all so much for watching. I'll see y'all later. Thanks a lot.